the New York Islanders entered the offseason with a handful of needs, looking to upgrade the forward and defensive units in particular. One of the biggest issues for the Islanders last season was their offense, scoring only 2.79 goals per game, and a complete goal scorer can transform the unit and allow the team to rebound next season. The Calgary Flames, meanwhile, went all in this season and finished the regular season with a 50-21-11 record, the best in the Pacific Division. The Flames looked like a Stanley Cup contender and made a handful of moves at the trade deadline, including acquiring Tyler Toffoli and Cal Jarncroft with the hope of a deep playoff run. Unfortunately, the Flames fell short in the Stanley Cup playoff, losing to their Alberta rival the Edmonton Oilers in just five games in the second round. Now they enter the offseason with a handful of pending restricted and unrestricted free agents. With the team likely going to be pressed against the salary cap, star scorer Johnny Gaudreau might test the market and could ultimately end up signing with the Islanders. Welcome back to today's episode, everyone. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on notifications so you know when I publish next. With all that out the way, let's get into today's episode. Flames have the luxury of offering Gaudreau an 8-year contract, and the extra year of security will be intriguing for a scorer entering the prime of his career. While the Islanders can only offer him a 7-year deal, they have the ability to make the most expensive offer. For the first time since the 2019 offseason, the Islanders have the cap space to make a major signing, and Lou Lamorello and the front desk will look to make a splash as a result. Gaudreau would likely ask for an $11 million per type of deal, which could put a team up against the salary cap in the future. However, considering what other star scorers are earning, the deal would be worth it for both the players and the team. Connor McDavid is making $12.5 million per season, while Artemi Panarin signed a 7-year $11.6 million per contract with the New York Rangers in 2019. Gaudreau is coming off an MVP caliber season. While he's not a Hart Trophy finalist, the 28-year-old forward scored 40 goals and 75 assists and led the Flames' offense. As a result, the Islanders, along with other teams looking to acquire him, will have to pay the same price range as other top scorers in the league, if not, maybe more. The Flames finished the season with the best record in the Pacific Division, as we said earlier. The Islanders, on the other hand, took a step back last season with a 37-35-10 record, missing the playoffs which resulted in head coach Barry Trotz being fired. At first glance, the Flames look like an ideal destination for a star scorer that is entering his prime. The Flames will look like a different team next season, especially considering the list of free agents on their roster. Along with Gaudreau, the front office has to address Andrew Mangiapane and Matthew Kachuk on the forward unit. Both players are restricted free agents, while trying to keep Nikita Zadorov, Eric Branson, and Oliver Killington on the defensive unit. In all likelihood, the Flames reaching their ceiling will have to retool in the upcoming seasons after failing to make a Stanley Cup run. The Islanders, meanwhile, have a team ready to compete for the Stanley Cup. They are looking to win now with the veteran-heavy roster. Gaudreau would join a team that reached the semifinal in consecutive seasons in 2019-20 and 2020-21, carried by great defense and strong goaltending. Additionally, the team he would be joining not only is a competitive experience, but new facilities in UBS Arena, which can be an intriguing draw for free agents around the NHL. For that reason, it's an asset the Flames are eagerly trying to have approved. In addition to the team on the ice, Gaudreau is a New Jersey native, growing up in Carney's Point. His hometown is in southern New Jersey, which is closer to the Flyers and the Devils, making both teams the optimal homecoming destination for the star scorer. However, both the Flyers and Devils are rebuilding, which makes neither destination terribly intriguing, especially both for a player that is looking to win the Stanley Cup. Instead, the Islanders could be a team closest to home and the best fit, making the signing an ideal one this offseason. The first thing that stands out in the forward skill set is his speed. Gaudreau can create instant scoring chances on the rush and find the back of the net by catching opposing defenses and goaltenders out of position. As a result, playing alongside Matthew Barzell will give the Islanders a great skating shift that can overwhelm any opposing defense in the NHL. In addition to speed, the Flames' top scorer was a complete player in the offensive zone, setting up scoring chances to elevate the other skaters on the shift while also finding the back of the net with quick shots. Moreover, Gaudreau can carry any forward shift he's on. When an offense is struggling and the team needs a goal, he can single-handedly create scoring chances. With the Flames, his ability was showcased in the first round against the Dallas Stars, a series where the offense struggled, but he ended up scoring a team leading 8 points, including the Game 7 winning goal in overtime. The Islanders would be acquiring a forward that is not only able to elevate forwards like Barzell, Oliver Wallstrom, and Brock Nelson, but can also turn on an offense that has an average more than 3 goals per game since the 17-18 season. The Islanders have enough salary cap to make the big signing. The front office, however, has to re-sign 22-year-old defenseman Noah Dobson, who is a restricted free agent. Concerning the breakout year he had, the Islanders might look to give him an expensive contract. The team will have to trade at least one or two players, and with a handful of players on the trading block, a move could likely happen to secure an elite player like Gaudreau. The Islanders would be one of the many teams interested in acquiring the star scorer. This is the move that Lou Lamorello is looking to make to allow the team to immediately rebound and become one of the most competitive teams in the league. Thank you guys for tuning in, and have a wonderful day.